Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, I want to talk about some observations we've made here at Austin Eye about the Clearview 3 lens. Uh, I made a video about this lens uh, as it being one of the best lenses of 2024. And I think it is a very, very good lens, but I don't now think it's the best lens uh, of 2024 or 2025 for that matter. Uh, it does very well in certain patients. I mean, the vision quality can be extremely high but it has a little bit of unpredictability that makes it less ideal as your go-to lens for range of vision. One of the concerns with the clear view, and again, it kind of looks like this, it's a segmented bifocal, is that it can spin or rotate inside the eye after implantation because it's just not as wide as other lenses are. This was actually mentioned in my original video as a concern, and it happened. I had a patient, he was traveling abroad, about six weeks after cataract surgery, and he could literally tell that the lens was spinning in his eye and his vision quickly changed. He came back, I saw him and confirmed that yes, it had spun. It had originally been placed kind of like this at an oblique angle, which is normal for a clear view, but it had spun to be more upright or vertical. So we had a very, very, very long conversation about options. Option one could be just go back in and re-spin the lens back to where it was. He was happy before but it can spin again. Uh, so there's some uncertainty there. Option two, which I ended up doing and favoring, was to take out the clear view and replace it with a diffractive IOL like the Odyssey. The Odyssey lens has proven itself to be a very consistent, reliable lens uh, that is not prone to or affected by spinning that much. Even the astigmatism version of this lens, which you know you really don't want it spinning too much, I have not had that issue. And so I felt pretty confident that if we took out the clear view and put it in the Odyssey, he'd be happy. So here's a little video of me taking out the clear view three. I opened up the main wound with the Donnefeld spatula and then lift up the lip of the capsule so I can get viscoelastic underneath there. Sometimes you have to do this with a bimanual technique where one hand is holding the Donafel and lifts it up and the other one slides the cannula underneath to uh, inject the viscoelastic. The nice thing about the clear view is that it's not very sticky inside the capsule. It really likes to come free. But the bad thing about the clear view three, and you'll see this, is that it's pretty large. Yeah, it's less wide in diameter, but it's just kind of bulky in its design. And so getting it up and out and into the interior chamber can be uh, difficult. So it's actually kind of difficult to cut the clear view three in my opinion. I did a Pac-Man technique here. I had to come in a couple times to get the scissors all the way across. This is the same move that Dr. Crad does in his videos when he removes clear views. It takes a little work, but you can finagle it out as long as you protect the endothelium. With that lens out, now I can put the Odyssey in. There's plenty of room for it. The clear view makes sure of that. And once it's in, it's well centered in good place. The patient did really well with the surgery. He was very pleased with his vision. He's 2020 J1 or J2, give or take. Uh, and he found that very functional for him. And he was pleased with the result. So much so that he actually wanted to have his other eye have an Odyssey lens. I think one thing to really take away from this story is that the Odyssey lens is very forgiving. Even if the patient has J1 or J2 vision, they're pretty pleased with the quality of vision overall, even at near. Uh, whereas with a panoptics lens in the past, if they were J1 or J2, they may not be so happy. There's just something about the optical principles of the Odyssey that make it forgiving and give patients more comfort with near tasks, even if they're not that classic J1+. plus. So all in all, this is my go-to if someone's having an issue with clear view and they want to preserve their range of vision and there's enough capsular support to make their wish come true. Thank you.